Hello everyone, my name is Pew Pew Choo Choo, and today we will be taking a look at Unity of Command Red Turn. Inside this AAR, we will be taking a look at a few battles from the campaign. Starting off with the Battle of Ramen Yatsev. You might notice that uh, we're actually fighting back near the Kharkov area. Inside this scenario, we will be taking the offensive in 1943 as the Russians. Here you can see that there are quite a lot of Russian cavalry units at the top of the map. We have quite a lot of tanks, however, the bad weather will stall or advance inside the top portion of the map. As always, Unity of Command is based around the idea of taking objectives marked with the bullseye. Time is of the essence inside this game as we have to take the objectives on the turns of 3 and 5. On the first turn we've made a breach inside the German forces' line. It looks like the Germans are resupplying themselves with additional Panzer divisions. Inside the DLC Red Turn, the Soviet units do not play like the German forces in the original game. Although we have more units, their stats are lacking in many areas. A German Panzer division made out of 4 steps or 4 hit points is worth almost as much as a 7 step uh, Russian tank division. On the second turn the weather has cleared and I reinforced my tanks and infantry with more units or rather hit points called steps. Steps take a turn to essentially uh, fill themselves up so it's best to do this early during the match. You can see here I expand the uh, breach within the Germans' lines. I plan to go around the enemy and cut him off inside the first village of uh, Belograd. Since we have so many units, it is generally acceptable to take losses throughout this campaign. Unlike the German forces, we do not necessarily have to worry about casualties as much. The downside to this is that we cannot actually call in any form of reinforcement apart from resupplying our units with more steps, we cannot actually call in any more uh, divisions to help us, unlike the German campaign. It looks like the German AI is bringing in more mechanized units. Those mechanized units will be very very hard to eliminate. I'd argue that one of our divisions is only worth about half of one of those panzer divisions that the Germans have. When properly employed, those panzer divisions can be entrenched in uh, various locations that make them almost impossible to get out without suffering massive losses. You might notice that the enemy is concentrating his forces on the riverbank here. Instead of directly attacking him, I figured the best form of uh, action here is to simply cut him off, eliminate the weaker panzer divisions of my infantry, uh, simply just to get rid of them. In the campaign, units do not carry over from battle to battle in the sense that they are simply just re reconstituted with uh, full historical steps and stuff and such like that. So with that keeping in mind, we can essentially freely waste units on the battlefield without any real expense. Since it looks like we can surround the 
two German mechanized forces inside uh, the village of Belgrade. I think I will just simply cut them off from their supply lines instead. You might notice that inside this campaign, we are essentially able to gain prestige freely. Prestige is the score carried from uh, match to match inside the campaign, so I'm willing to lose a few points in an effort to break down the second objective of Kharkov easily. We suffer a few losses here and there, but it's alright. The losses do not carry over from battle to battle, however the prestige does. you notice that the Germans are running out of supplies near the top, or rather inside the bulge we've uh, created. The German Panzer division up there cannot attack now, and the mechanized Panzer Grenadier cannot effectively resupply themselves, therefore it cannot actually regain steps. It's worth noting that those are highly uh, experienced units represented by the Iron Cross. If we were to attack them directly, it would cost us quite a lot of uh, a lot of our own units. But then again, we only have to take the objectives to win the scenario. We do not actually have to mop up the enemy. So here, I can break down the enemy Panzer Division quite easily, and I can commit an assault onto Kerkov quite easily as well, and take it. Despite the heavy losses, we will be able to successfully take the village. And that concludes the first battle inside this AR. I hope you subscribe and like the video so we can continue forward.